In more football news tonight, Mizzou football is returning to St. Louis tomorrow for the first time since 2010. They'll face off against the University of Memphis at 630 in what's considered a home game at the Dome at America Center. Today, I spoke with some of those organizations that are making the return to the Lou possible. It hasn't been here forever. It's been a long time. It's been almost 13 years since Mizzou football last played in front of its St. Louis fan base. It's, it's just so cool to see that black and gold in downtown St. Louis and um, we missed it. The St. Louis Sports Commission is responsible for organizing the Mizzou to the Lou series, which began with the women's soccer game earlier this month. Roseman says the commission signed more than 75 student athletes to an ambassador program to help promote the series. It, it gives the student athletes a chance to get in front of more people. Um, it gives, you know, it gives the University of Missouri uh, more opportunities to get in front of, you know, corporate St. Louis to expand their brand, so to speak, to, you know, get more fans involved. St. Louis is our largest alumni market. There are 71,000 uh, Mizzou alumni living in St. Louis. This is considered a home game for Mizzou, and the Mizzou Alumni Association is hosting a tailgate Saturday at Ballpark Village that's expecting around 5,000 people. The more we can get Mizzou in front of uh, different uh, audiences, whether they be alumni, fans, or prospective students, I think the better. Ballpark Village is about a 15-minute walk from the Dome, with a shuttle available for those who need it. Officials say the downtown area is used to big crowds, so parking and space will not be a problem. The fact that we're 3-0 and and we won in dramatic fashion that last game, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better way to, to come marching into Mizzou. Fans are encouraged to go to the DomeStLouis.com slash parking for detailed information about parking and traffic around the game. And coming up at 6, I'll have more details about the contracts for this event and how much the university is paying to play in St. Louis.